ready for this? Are you ready for the Beloved channel? Are you ready for vegan chicken like you've never seen before? Are you ready? Are you prepared for what's about to take place here and now? Nita, tell them what's about to take place. We have a recipe for y'all. It is 100% vegan. No animals were harmed. Right, Norman? No animals. Zero animals were harmed. And we are showing you guys how to make a beautiful mock chicken. Packed with protein so you can with have your gains and your muscles taken care of because I know how important it is to protect those muscles and those gain big pectorals, arms, and some glutes as well because glutes are important. So if you're looking for protein packed glutes, this is the recipe for you. Keep on watching to see what this recipe is all about. To see what it's about, to see this protein chicken masterpiece come together. Perfection is what it so first and foremost, guys, wash your hands, you filthy animals. Keep them clean. We're gonna be working with dough here today, guys. You gotta need the dough. I need yes. that dough. Get some vital wheat gluten here, which is our protein-packed filling. And we're also gonna be using some texturized soy. The texturized soy comes in like a little thicker substance. So we put it in the blender and uh, got it down to like a soy protein flour. It just helps to mix it all together. And now here's a fun part. We're gonna be adding some nice seasoning. So we're grabbing our garlic powder. And we got some onion powder, a couple teaspoons of that onion powder, lots of flavor. Throw in some nutritional yeast. Now this is an important vegan ingredient. This is really gonna bring in that nice flavor here and make it almost like cheesy and fluffy. Doesn't really make it cheesy, but it makes it delicious. <laughs> Next and most importantly, that Lowry's make it Lowry's. taste like it came out the soul food kitchen. Oh shit, with a little bit of slap your mama. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. You might have to slap somebody's mama, but make sure it's not yours. Or don't slap anyone's mom. Don't do no, that. No, don't guys. do that. Just throw it in the seasoning with some black pepper. Black pepper. We also pepper. got a little bit and of uh, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Just, of just nut. a little bit of nutmeg. Just to Tiny give it a little bit. pop. Nutmeg pop. A dash, you know as they say. Get the dry ingredients mixed up, guys. You gotta get it all mixed all together before you get wet. You gotta get it mixed up dry. Yup, and now we're gonna start adding those wet ingredients here. So get a cup, throw in some plant milk. We use pea milk here. We also use some soy sauce and a little bit of this golden barbecue sauce that we got from Primal Kitchen. They make some really good sauces. And we're gonna go in with a little bit more plant milk. We like to use a nice cashew milk and that's gonna go right into our mix of wet ingredients. After that, guys, you gotta prepare a pot. We added 10 cups of water to the pot and we get that on some heat, high heat to get our not-so-chicken bouillon-type cubes yes. added. Now, these are fun. You can find them at health stores. Not chicken. It's gonna taste like chicken, but there is no chicken in this. This is a faux chicken flavor. Faux chicken flavor. And don't drop your garlic. Oh, garlic oh, cloves. Don't yes. drop your garlic. But if you do, it's okay because it's covered up. We're going to get that garlic shredded off and get some onions and fresh garlic chopped and put into the pot. This is just going to help give it that nice flavorful chicken flavor. So we're going to get that under the high heat and get that boiling. Then we're going to actually use some of that broth in our nice wet mixture. So adding about a cup of that water. Take this at your own pace. You want to make sure you're adding just enough to get this to be a beautiful dough. It's really important to add the water slowly as you're getting it added to the dry mix because it's gonna clump up guys and you'll have to kind of use it to get all the little pieces of dough all around and if you notice it's too dry and you're still getting powder like texture you may need to add a little bit extra water. So we added a little bit of water and got all of our ingredients mixed together into a dough. And it's really important here, guys, to work that dough. The more that you can show this Saitan dough some TLC, the more it will reward you once this is all done. It's really important, guys, if you want it to have a good meaty texture, it's gotta get worked pretty well. 
we used a coffee cup just to cut ourselves some nice little chicken patty type shapes. Some people go with a more natural approach. Some people like it to be a little bit more, you know, chicken-like, so they'll just let it be natural. But we like the patties because it's easier to measure and easier to put on a bun. Yeah, so, you know, choose what works for you. If you want to just tear off pieces and throw them in there, go ahead. We're going to actually put this on a simmer for about 20 minutes so that we have a nice, beautiful, fluffy seitan mix right here. You'll notice as the meat is getting finished, it'll start to get a little more stringy-like. You don't want to overcook it, guys. It's very important because if you overcook this shit, it's going to be real rough to eat. So about 20 to 25 minutes tops is all you need, especially because we're going to put it in the air fryer. We want to go ahead and get a nice preheat going about 390 degrees and then we are going to prepare our coating. The wet mix guys, this is going to be our breading for the chicken. It's going to be made of a vegan egg. We used a nice flax egg here. Actually, with, I believe this is a chickpea egg. With a little bit of pea milk again and we also added some Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce guys that's going to be part of the ingredients we're going to add that sweet baby rays to the neat egg and that's going to be our batter for the not chicken and then for the breading we're using a nice mixture of sun chips and panko breading now 20 minutes have passed we're going to grab those beautiful seitan cutlets and grab them out of our water and we're going to put them just on a cutting board and dry them off as much as we can you got to get them dry guys nobody wants a big wet piece of chicken so you got to make sure you dry them off this is important before you get into the wet batter and get these puppies nice and breaded Yes, so once they've been into the wet batter, we've coated it just like we would with egg. We're gonna throw on our beautiful breading, make sure it's nicely covered, and then we're just gonna pop them right into our air fryer. So here we go, guys. They've been in the air fryer. We cooked them for about 14 minutes just to get the nice coat on there. You'll have to be careful with your air fryer. I advise you guys to check it after a few minutes. Make sure it gets that nice brown color on there. Bam! This is deliciousness right here. Crispy, golden, yummy. Oh, we can't wait to bite into this. Oh. So after that, we decided to add some of this Trader Joe's Ranch. It's a vegan ranch made from coconuts, and it's absolutely fire, guys. I promise you. Next, we're gonna move on to the rest of our toppings for our sandwich. Now, I like my veggies. I throw on some red onions, some tomatoes, love my lettuce, and then we also go in with some cheese. If y'all haven't tried chow cheese, the chow cheese is fire as well, guys. Fire. You can get it at Walmart in that little vegan slither of a section <laughs> next to your produce. <laughs> they carry the chow cheese. Mm. Speaking of fire. Gotta add a sweet baby raised buffalo Ooh. added on top. Ooh. It's just gonna give it that little bit of extra pop and fire so to fire. it. And look at here it is, guys. Cut it open. Look at this. It's beautiful. And there you have it. This is our vegan mock chicken sandwich. Behold. Okay, so that concludes. Oh, I wasn't ready. I'm sorry again. There you have it. Protein packed vegan deliciousness. Remake it at home. Make it. Drop a comment. Comment. Tell me how y'all chicken was tasting. And subscribe. More content on the way, some music on the way, more vegan food on the way. Just more. Just more. We will see you in the next out, guys. video. See you soon.